Welcome back everybody, it's time to lock down some historic merfolk again. We've got an updated deck list that uh, Nikachu's been running, so I'm going to try it out, so I'll go over it really quick with you guys. Uh, we cut our forests, our mana base over here really quick. We cut our forests in one of our unclaimed territories because Ancient Ziggurat is in historic now. This is tap, add one mana of any color, spend it to cast a creature spell which our whole deck is creatures pretty much. Uh, we won't be able to use it for petty theft, uh, but everything else we'll be able to use it for, so it's really nice. Uh, so we cut those. Mana base still looks good. Uh, we, I switched up. We took out the Brineborns. Now we've got Silvergill Adept, Trickster. In replace of the Brineborn, we have four Merfolk Branch Walkers help us dig for lands or just get a bigger creature out on the battlefield. Uh, also, we've got Kumena. We've got three of the four defense is really nice in a lot of matchups. Uh, we've also included the Frilled Mystic, a full play set of these, just to get some counter spells going uh, late game. But we can get there with our uh, land base. We'll be able to pull into it no problem. And of course, our Reedries. Uh, we cut one Brazen Borrower, so we just got two in the deck. Our Mistbinders, four Kumena, and four Benthic for some early aggression. And now we're playing with a companion, we're playing with Umori the Collector. Each non-land card in your starting deck, deck shares a card type, which is creature. Uh, as Umori enters the battlefield, choose a card type. Those cost one less to cast. Uh, so we'll hit creature on that, and then all of these right here, these will all become way easier to cast. My Rejury will be easier to cast. Uh, it'll be very good. So we're going to run that and see how we can do. Uh, yeah, let's jump into... Oh, did I add something? Oh, what did I do? Oh, I took out an Ancient Ziggurat. Oops, there we go. Alright, let's jump into Historic Ranked and see what we can, uh, we can do with this thing here. Historic Merfolk. Let's do this. Show us what you're made out of. Right now, uh, it's looking pretty good in the matches. It's uh, performing pretty well. Uh, I know there's some decks that we'll struggle against, but uh, we'll keep this as a good hand. I like it, I like it. We'll put down the Ancient Ziggurat, Kumena, play Island. Depending on what they're playing, we'll uh, just we'll just wait and see. Because we may want to... Oh, that sucks. Good block, good blocker. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and... I think we're just going to set up with uh, maybe... Digging for something. Uh, yeah, we'll do Branch Walker here. See if we can find uh, another land for our Umori. Yeah, that should be good. No attacks. We're not going to attack into the Death Touch right now, so that's no big deal. Alright, what do you do again? Exiles a card from their hand. All right. Uh, we'll just get rid of one of our Benthics, I suppose. Attacking in, no blocks. We'll take the one. Allows us to attack in a little bit more nicely here. All right. So now we can throw down a Benny Boy. Miss Binder. Do you have Death Touch? Uh, no, but you can pump. All right. Let's start racing. They're taking six. I don't know why they attacked in with the vampire. That was kind of foolish in my opinion. They want to hold them up as a defense. They know Merfolk can get big. Sure. Destroy our Mistbinder. We'll probably cast the Umori next turn, but we want to be drawing into... Drawing into some more stuff here. We need, like... Uh, yeah, we'll just get rid of Island. Bunch of Fenlurkers. So they're just handed. I don't know why they keep attacking in with this. Thing. I mean, maybe I should just chump block with the Benthic or something like that. Well, we got a Frilled Mystic. That's nice. Pay the two. Um. And go attack, attack. Let's do it like that. Take the damage. Um, alright. We are... We're gonna hold up the Frilled Mystic. See what they try to do here. See if we can hit something decent. 
nonetheless, we got Imori, who's a big body. A very big body. Uh, disfiguring my Kumena. Don't really like that, but I'll let it resolve. Swinging in with everything, sure. No blocks here. Go to damage. Sacrifice is a creature. Chainer's Edict is in this format now, huh? Um, let's see, they can flash it back. I'll just counter this, get another body down. I got one card in hand. Alright. We're empty handed. Mori's coming down. Creature. Swing out. Actually, I should have kept the island in my hand to loot away with Ben. That was a mistake. Yeah, I should have been looting that with Ben. Gary, uh-oh. What have we got here? That's a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage. Uh, no blocks. Ooh, that's nice. It only costs two for Umori. Uh, yeah, I mean, we're gonna play this for sure. We can get in just about everything here. Fine by me. Just gonna block the frilled. And turn. We may have to chump block with the Marrow Reedry. Oh, they're just gonna Gary us out. Alright, they had the win. It's fine. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Gary kills us. Good old Gary. Alright, they just had it in hand. It's no big deal. Um, Gary's a beast. Gotta love it. Let's run it back. See what else we can do. I kept swinging with that death touch. I wonder if I should have just chump blocked it, but it was definitely a misplay on my part. I should have kept the island in hand, looted with Benthic. We would have dug one deeper than the Marrow Reedry and maybe found something else, but I, I think we were dead either way from that. Um, it's a little weak of a hand, uh, but we can play everything. We'll keep it. Alright, things just got better here. Uh, let's pay the two. What are we up against here? A Triome with Gigan. Alright, fair enough. Druid. Man, everybody's throwing down these good blockers here. Pretty crazy. Um, I'm just gonna go Mistbinder so I can attack him for damage. I think we just need to race these decks. Just outpace them. Ooh, they've got their own... Turn three Amori. Very cool. Uh, good blocker. Okay. Let's go island. And we'll just put on all our little boys here. Spread them wide. No attacks right now. We're gonna loot with Ben next turn, more than likely, unless we draw something decent like a uh, Rajiri. Uh, but their combo's already here. Probably loot away this other Ben. Try to... We're gonna try... If we don't get something good, we're gonna loot away the Ben, try to find, like, another... Another thing for this. Alright, so Galta comes down. Not pretty. Uh, let's loot. Let's loot. Silver Gill. Alright, discard the Ben. Play the Island. Can't play the Silver Gill right now. Oh boy. It's not pretty. We are going to be taking some damage. Okay. May want to loot again. 
another one. Okay. Wow. It's a good showing. <laughs> this is a good showing right here. <laughs> we need to get past all these decks. Get out of these this garbage. And you got Thassa. Paradise Druid. Sure. I think we're pretty much dead here. I don't know how much we can recover from this. Um, take the 12. Yeah, I'll block a little bit. Um, and then we'll loot. And just see what we can find. I, I don't know what we can find at this point. To really save us, we'll get rid of the island. And then they can hop him back and do this all over again. Obliterator. Oh gosh. Alright. Uh, yep. We did. <laughs> We good. Once that combo's out, it's it's uh it's hard to recover. And they can beat our clock a little bit, so they can pump out that guy again faster than we can get Frilled Mystic up, which is a little unfortunate. Going against Allison. Oh, I forgot. Oh man, I knew I was gonna forget that. Uh, let's look at our hand first. Yeah, we'll keep it. It's reasonable. Keep, and then... See you, Nisa. We've got our own logo now. We've got our own little... Little nice little emblem here. Uh, let's see. What are we doing here? We're gonna go... Unclaimed. Say, Merfolk. Jam a Kumena. This is where we want to throw down the Branch Walker against these Ghoul decks. So we're definitely going to throw Branch Walker down next so it can be a decent blocker, a decent trader. Oh, jeez. Burning, burning, burning. Oh, my goodness. This is... This is something here. Okay. Down goes my guy. And pay some life. Yeah, we'll just put down Branch Walker. See if it gets big. Uh, we'll get big, but I don't think I want Ben here. I think I want some more, some more lands to uh, cast Kamena. Kamena is going to be pretty helpful. Block the pelt. Take four. Another pelt. Fair enough. All right, ancient cigarettes. Uh, yeah, I think we just need to throw down a Kamena here. Start blocking some stuff. Maybe they have a way to kill it. Pass them back to me. Alright, let's uh, Silver Gill. Feel Ben. Probably gonna play it next. Branch Walk sure is not bad. Pass. We'll be able to draw a card to end a turn if all our stuff survives. Take a little bit of damage here. Uh, are they setting up to like do something crazy? Kill our Kumena? If they kill our Kumena, we've got another one in hand. So let's see what happens here. These burning trees are a pain in the butt though. Ember Cleave. Okay, we just die. Yeah, we just die. Uh huh. Wow. Well. Three for three. <laughs> three for three. That's not pretty. Wanted to have some fun with Merfolk today, and seems like our opponents are having all the fun. See if we can get a 
a better start here. We gotta get past these gruel decks. Get out of uh, get out of this gruel territory. Unclaim, a little awkward. Our frilled mystic isn't gonna be super great. Not in love with the sand either. I think we'll keep it, but like, frilled is not gonna be that good here. Yeah, I'm gonna be testing with the deck a little bit too, so. All right, so branch walker. That's all well and good. We'll do the ziggurat first. Mena. Play branch walker next. The blocks. That's fun. Another unclaimed. Not the best. This is this guy's just gonna die, which sucks. They can just kill him. But we need to dig a little bit here. For another land or something. Uh graveyard him. We already got one. Uh we'll get in for a little bit. If this guy dies anyways, like it's not gonna be good blocks on the Kamena, so we might as well get in for damage. But we'll see what they do. Instigator. Alright. So I can sack a goblin and then do the two damage. It's dying either way. Alright, this is fine. Play another unclaimed. This is a little bit tricky. Guess we just play our Redry here, or now we'll play Kumena. Yeah, we'll play Kumena. Kumena pass. And we'll see if they have a way to deal with Kumena, because it can block. Probably should have put one of these on Wizard, actually, not Merfolk. Because uh, that'll help us cast the Frilled Mystic eventually. But not anytime soon. Krinko! Krinko, Krinko, Krinko. Gnarly. Pass to me. Breeding pool. Pay the two. Uh, I kind of just want to get Mori out here. Another good blocker. Yeah, let's, let's get Amori out. Everything will get a little cheaper. Pass. Next turn we could potentially... Get a nice combo off with Redry. They're gonna attack in. Which means maybe they have a way to kill a Yumori. Uh, I'm gonna block it though. We need to get it out of here. That was double block, just in case. 
See if they want to kill. I think they're setting up for a kill spell, so. Let's see. Add some mana. Yep. Alright, here comes some spells. Yep. Oh, uh, let's see. Yeah, it'll die. Oh well. But we got Krenko off, which is pretty important. So now we can go Regery into a Branch Walker. We'll untap our breeding pool in case we get another one drop or something. Uh, yeah, we'll keep it on top. I'll take more lords. Everything's nice and big. We just pass here. And we'll start drawing cards. I don't think I'll block the Volley Veteran if they attack him with it. Maybe I will with Branch Walker. It's all we can eat. Uh, it's all we can beat right now. Another tribal deck. <laughs> I mean, the game's not over yet, but like, dang. At least we're more well positioned in this matchup than we have been in the other ones. Another Ember Hauler, sure. Sure, sure, sure. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, we're doing this pre-combat. This is just gonna die either way. Yep. We got another one coming up. They know it, too. Veteran attacking in. Not attacking in. Okay. Let's draw a card. Get our Regery in hand and draw Silvergill. I like that. Uh, yeah, let's uh, reveal the Regery. They already know about it. Another Frilled Mystic. Very nice. Now we can start putting counters on these things if we really wanted to. Uh, I don't think I'm attacking it yet. What's your play? What's your play? If they got another Ember Hauler, we can save her Reader if we really wanted to. Take some damage. Ooh, they need the mana. Okay. Folly Veteran. Hmm. Deals damage to target creature equal to the number of goblins you control. He's only got four right now, though. This isn't going to kill him. Unless they're setting up to... Do something else? Alright, they're setting up to do something else here. Firebrand. This won't work. This isn't going to work how they want it to. Maybe they don't understand Kumena. Yeah, sorry. I don't think you understand Kumena. 
because now we're just going to put a counter on everything. Yeah, all right, cool. We didn't even have to attack in. I think we attacked in, what, once? <laughs> and we got the win? That's our only win we can get right now as goblins. Let's play another one. I, I want to get another win against uh, a deck that's actually doing something right now. Goblins ain't doing anything in Historic right now. That was a cool matchup, but it was like we got to see Kamina go to work and stuff like that, but it is what it is. <laughs> yeah, if they if I, they knew they misplayed too. That's why they conceded, because we had just a way big board and they were running out of steam. And they wanted to kill my Kamina, and they wanted to sack the, uh, the monkey boy, the pirate monkey, to kill the last damage. But I think he read Kamina again and was like, uh, they can just give counters. All right, well, we got a, a curve. We just need one land to get Frilled Mystic online. Yeah, I'm, I'm still, like, figuring out this deck. This is the first time I've played with this build of the deck, so, like, I may be keeping some hands that maybe you guys would throw back. Uh, but I'm testing stuff out, you know. All right, let's uh, go ahead and get this in tapped. We've got our mana right. Unclaimed has to come in as a wizard, but that can still help us cast, like, Trickster and stuff. Shadow Sphere. Oh boy. Uh, yeah, that's not. That's not super pretty. Alright, let's hold up Trickster. See what they do. This could be the Artifacts deck. Glitch. Put a counter on an artifact. When you control, no permanence. Uh, sack. So they're gonna like break into this. Getting lots of islands. I'll just play a Reedry. He's such a big boy. I, I'm glad I'm seeing some play with him because, like, he is a nasty card. Three black for a 5-5 five five with some crazy indestructible power. It is pretty gnarly, and they've got the start for it, too. Uh, great. All right, there goes our creatures. Super cool. Exactly what you want to see. Ow. Hinterland. I like Hinterland. I'm gonna pass the Frilled Mystic up, I guess. We got a couple in hand. Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna let that resolve. No thanks. Still taking a beating from this guy, man. Going to 10. Uh, might be time for Hamori. Potentially. Or we can just try to double block with another Frilled Mystic or something. Yeah, let's pass. We'll try to go like that, I guess. Or can we not even do that because he is indestructible? Just going to pass. I'm going to chump, I think. Yeah, just chump in. Oh, these are hard matchups, man. I am not feeling great. My turn? All right. We get a Ben. We can finally loot away some of these... Some of these lands. Uh, do I want to play one? I think I'll play one land still. That is annoying. It's all get out. Do I counter this? I really need to, like, do some looting, so I think I'm going to counter this just so I can loot then and start drawing into some better stuff. Fortunately, that was the end of our turn. They got two cards in hand. They don't need much more than this, though. 5-5. Five, five. And a shack. All right, we are really dead on on course here. Let me equip six six with lifelink. Okie dokie, that. <laughs> oh, Merfolk, what happened? What happened? I think I just need to get a bronze. I'm in freaking bronze right now. There's a, such a different meta when you go up into the higher ranks. getting absolutely demolished.
Not pretty. Camera Jajarger. This is going to be a painful hand, but I'll keep it. They got their own Yumori. We're going to play... Bring pool tapped. Kumana, alright. Uh, I think we're just going to get Branch Walker out. Um, yeah, I'll keep that on top. Cool, we gotta win. They, they don't want to play Merfolk, I guess. <laughs> sure. Oh, man. This is rough. This is rough. What have your guys' luck been with the uh, historic Merfolk? You run in the Nikichu decklist like I am, or you got uh, your own build to get through these lower ranks? I might, maybe I need to do something for these lower ranks. What I what I had before with like the spell pierces and stuff, uh, maybe it was a little awkward, but like it did protect more from like all these kill spells and stuff like that. I don't know. I don't know what would be better. I mean, I like how the deck's running, but we're just getting pummeled. Um, good hand. I can dig it. Let's do it. Ancient Ziggurat. Breeding pool. Got all our mana right. Keep. Alright. Another Mistbinder. Alright, I'll take that too. That's nice. And they're playing Yorian. Is this the Winota? I hope this isn't Winota. Ooh, it's gonna be nasty if it is. Um... Merfolk. I think we'll just get in for damage here. Build up our board. Nice and sweet. Try to slam a Rajiri. Other unclaimed. I am going to put out Breeding Pool just so we can start setting up for Yumori when we need to. Alright, we're beaten down now. That's that's the beatdown you want to see. Of course, they don't have anything in play, but even if they did have something in play, that this is a good board. Alright, Shadow of the Sky. Oh my gosh, getting absolutely demolished. Alright. I think we play Yamori and then we can go off next turn. Let's do that. Creature. Fires. Control. Stink and shatter the sky. Oh, goodbye, Yamori. Alright. Still got plenty of stuff we can do next turn. Yep. Alright. Merfolk. Hmm. Let's see what our branch walker is going to give us. I'll keep him. And I think we'll just play out Kumena. And we'll probably just tap down Yorian. at their draw step. And we can slam a Merfolk Mistbinder unless they wreck our board again with another Shadow of the Sky. I mean, they could play a lot of big stuff here, so... Oh, I got a pass to me. Oops, sorry. Alright, copy by Trickster. That's fine, though. Now we can run out Mistbinder. Get in there. 
Tyrant. Pass turn. Shatter the sky, of course. All right. Am I just playing right into these? Hinterland. All right, time to uh, adapt the bend. Find some good stuff for us. That's not what we wanted. Three cards. Those are scary three cards, though. Destroy target land to each creature and to each planeswalker. Well, aren't you fun? You're at three life. Oh my gosh. Alright, well, we can bounce something and hopefully get in for the last bit of damage with Brazen Borrower. Uh, we can bounce an Ixalan's Binding, too, and get back, like, Yamori or a Trickster. Uh, let's see what happens. Let's just try to get back Yamori. I think, I think we got there. Yep, alright, cool. Alright, we... <laughs> Should we go for one more? One more quick one? See if we can get a good stomp down? I want to get a good stomp down. We, we had a good race on that one, at least, but... We were running into those Shatter of the Skies like nobody's business. How many of those have hit us this in the last 35 minutes? Like, we've got hit by like four of those things. I mean, I get it. It's a uh, board wipe to play, but uh, pretty insane. We'll keep this. All right. Things are getting better. Still probably play Silvergill. Meyer Triton. Alright. Let's go ahead and reveal Branch Walker. Another Branch Walker. Alright. No attacks, but we will offer a trade with this thing if I want to. They got Unburial Rites. And flashback. So what are you doing here? Some kind of reanimation deck. Yep. Just reanimator. Uh, Ziggurat, huh? I don't I want to do this. I think we'll just put down another... Let's go for attack. I want to trade with this Meyer Triton and get him off the field. And we can also loot if they end up doing the Benthic. They're going to do the Benthic. So do I want to loot, or do I want to just play a branch walker? I think I'll just let this go through. I want to play a branch walker and hope it gets a little bit bigger. Start putting the clock down. Uh, yes, please. I will take that. This is the turn they can go off, though. So they can get their dragon. What do you do again? Whenever it attacks, four damage to target, three damage to... Holy cow. Flames attacks, four damage to any target, three damage to each of up to two. That is insanity. I think we're going to bounce him. So let's play...
Another branch walker. Put that on top. Pass. I'm not letting you attack. We're gonna bounce you. Thank you, Brazen Barber. Now it's not in their graveyard, it's in their hands. So they gotta discard it back again. And then they can unbarrow rights it. So we're just keeping them at bay for a minute. <laughs> Alright, so. Merfolk. I can go Reedry into a Mistbinder. Yep, yeah, I think that's our best bet. I mean, we're hitting for quite a bit. We're just going to tap down that. Do that right now. It's not going to matter too much, but we're hitting for quite a bit here. So even if they can on burial rights this turn with something decent, um, we should be able to swing around and be wide enough to get the get the win. Fiend Artisan, ugh. Yeah, that's a nasty card. Two Fiend Artisans, ugh. All right, well we still win this. It's fine. We can even go Yamori and just show off a little bit. Creature, this Binder, and then they concede. All right, cool. Okay, well. That was interesting. <laughs> the deck runs pretty smooth, um, save for when you get browned out of like some of your ziggurats and uh, other mana. Uh, but it's still like cohesive enough to not screw you over entirely. Um, but yeah, I want to keep playing with the deck. Let me know if you guys are interested to see me keep playing with it. Not the best first showing. I uh, struggled to get some of those wins. <laughs> Because uh, we were getting steamrolled. But uh, yeah, leave a like if you enjoy. Leave a comment with what you think about the deck. What are the changes that helped you get out of bronze and out of these early tiers? Let me know in the comments below. Stay tuned for more. We'll see you guys in the next video.